Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to St. Bart's. This is another uh, Sim Update 10 DirectX 12 preview. We are in the Cessna 150, uh, excuse me, Cessna 172 G1000. Uh, the reason I fly this is to get the uh, the new constant fluid dynamics or whatever it's called. So I've read some things about this new update that maybe aren't so good, so let's give it a shot. Uh, it's literally my first flight in this, so you and I will find out together how good it is. Alright, uh, rotating beacon on, uh, mixture is rich, there is no carb key, master and battery switches on, avionics switches on. Turn the avionics on in this airplane and start up so I can see the RPM. All right. Uh, let's see. Throttle open half inch. Fuel pump on. Make sure there's nobody out here to maul and I don't see anybody who would come to harm. And starter engage. Good start. Magneto's back to both. About to a thousand RPM. Oil pressure is looking good. All right, so nav and strobe lights on. Fuel pump off. Leading the mixture from taxi. Oil oh boy, there's a lot to do, isn't there? Uh, altimeter one zero one nine. And I can tell already. It seems a little jittery. Uh, the <laughs> and this changes with it. Okay. Uh, it seems a little jittery to me. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see the performance overlay. I don't think you can. Alright, so let's engage the brakes. Release the parking brake. Uh, we want to be on 122.8. As I am pretty sure, anyway, that we don't have any ATC with us. Uh, transponder standby. Let's go squawk altitude. Just get that out of the way. Um, no, there's no, there's no ATC to speak of, anyway. And there is, but not for us. Alright, so, mixture's lean for taxi, lights are on, let's turn the taxi light on. Um, let's see. Uh, St. Bart's Traffic, Skyhawk 172, Mike Romeo, taxiing to runway 10 via taxiway Alpha, St. Bart's. Alright, so, what do we do when we get rolling? Test the brakes. Brakes are working, which is great. Uh, once again, the turning radius of a steamship. Look at this. So I gotta put in a little bit of left main brake. And <laughs> basically go to full power just to get the airplane to turn around. Which, I mean, I don't have much in the way of experience in 172s. In fact, I have no experience in 172s, but... I highly doubt that it takes that the turning radius is that bad. Um, okay, so power coming back to idle here. Alright, let's get to the hold short line. Alright, parking brake is on. Throttle to a thousand. Flight controls, up on that side, down on that side, up on that side, down on that side. Flaps, down, and indicating. Flaps all the way down on that side, all the way down on that side. Flaps up, and indicating, all the way up up on that side, all the way up on that side, let's check the elevator, 
Elevator is working properly. Flight controls are free and correct. Let's go. Fuel pump on. Mixture rich. Throttle to 1700. Close enough. All right, let's do left magneto. Good drop, 100 RPM, back to both. All right, right magneto. Good drop, back to both. There is no fuel pump, or excuse me, there is no uh, carb heat, so we will go fuel pump off. There's no fuel pressure to check. Uh, does this airplane even have a vacuum system? It does. Well, probably should. But I don't know where it is. I don't feel like burning the engine out. So throttle back to 1000 RPM. Idle power. Power idle check is good. You just want to make sure the airplane, the engine runs smoothly when you pull the power out. That's all. Alright, throttle back to a thousand RPM. Taxi light off, landing light on. Alright, mixture is rich. I do not see any traffic. Uh, let me make sure I have traffic engaged on the iPad. Now I do. Alright, so I don't see any traffic inbound. Don't hear any traffic inbound. Alright, transponder squawk altitude. We are on purple needles, which is what we want. Altimeter is set, radios are set. Mixture is rich. Let's release the parking brake. Trim is set for takeoff. Alright, St. Bart's traffic. Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo taking runway 10 for departure to the north, St. Bart's. Alright, let's bring in some power, get moving here. Uh, I don't see anything coming, but you necessarily wouldn't hear it say parts. So let's get as much runway as we can. All right. Okay. Heading indicator checks with the runway number. Brakes are set. Mixture is rich. Takeoff power is coming in. 2350 is what we're looking for. It's what we've got. Brakes are released. Oil pressure is good. Want to see that airspeed start to move? Airspeed is alive. All right. 55 knots. Bring the nose off the ground and let it fly itself right off the ground. And that's what it does. Left rudder on the ground, right rudder on takeoff, God knows why. But that's the way it is. Left heading 060. Look that water. Look how gorgeous that is. 060. Whoopsie daisy. Let's not crash into the cruise ship. That would be highly uncool. Look at that. <laughs> you can t you can tell I'm not used to flying this thing from the external view. Alright. Um, let's get ourselves let's get ourselves flying here. Ah, uh, look at that water. Look at that blue. I just think that's gorgeous. Alright. Try that external view again here. Ah, that water looks so beautiful, in my humble opinion. I came out quite a bit wider than I normally would on this takeoff, but that's okay. 1000 feet AGL fuel pump is off. A stick. If you see over here, this is what is called the the VFR corridor between St. Bart's and 
uh, Grand Cass. Uh, we want to stick to the right side of it. Rules of the road. Normal stuff. There's a uh, station and Saber there off in the distance. Alright. 1500 feet. We'll push the nose over, pull the power back. Welcome back to 2400 RPM because on a day like today, why would you be in a hurry? Seriously. Seriously, why would you be in a hurry? Alright, there's a big pause. There's another big pause. I haven't had those in, uh, in some update 10. I got them the other day when I jacked up my, uh, my texture settings and I go so I turned the texture setting back down um, I forget which setting it was it was uh, texture level of I forget but I turned something to ultra and as soon as I did that it started uh, stuttering for the first time uh, in Sim Update 10, so I decided to turn it back down, hoping it would come off, or hoping the stuttering would come to an end. So, uh, I mean, the water looks even more spectacular than it than it usually does to me. I mean, you've got different these different ranges of colors in in the uh, in the water depending on whether they are uh, exposed to the sun or whether there's cloud cover I mean, the, the water just looks absolutely unbelievable um I think the clouds look great. Um, performance is fine. I mean, just look at that water. I mean, this is a stock airplane, stock scenery. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I understand Microsoft Flight Simulator's got its its issues, and you can also tell we've got a pretty good right wind here. You see me getting pushed over here to the left. Uh, I'm sorry, this is just stunning. Um, I mentioned on previous videos, uh, DirectX 12 prior to Sim Update 10 beta was unusable for me, just completely unusable. Uh, just stutter, 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 and now it looks fantastic. I don't, I don't think it changes, it changes the way anything looks. It's just the performance thing, um, but. Uh, Performance is just awesome. I mean, I had those a couple stutters in the beginning. Um, I can probably work those out. I'm not really that worried about it. Um, I should be worried about crashing into the sea. Grandcast traffic, Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo is one zero miles to the south, inbound for runway 10, Grandcast. One thing that I find perhaps a bit, there's been a lot of debate in the beta forums about the weather and, and um, 
and uh, turbulence. I find the turbulence realistic. At first, I thought it was overdone. Then I went flying the other day and got thrown all over the joint and realized that the turbulence in the sim was just fine. I mean, but the, I think the one thing that might be a little bit irritating is trimming. It is getting straight and level flight. But I'll tell you one thing, though, that uh, keep an eye out for traffic coming out of St. Uh, Martin here. So we're going to be coming right across the departure end of the runway. Just want to keep your head on a swivel. Um, I mean, I, I, I guess a lot of people fly, you know, jets and more complex airplanes in this sim than I do. I've flown jets a little bit. I fly the TVM, you know, more than a little bit, but mainly I fly what you see me flying now. Uh, GA single engine and I'll tell you one thing controlling these airplanes is a constant thing you know I mean you're constantly you know having to the weather is a dynamic environment um, you know you you know this is the part that I find a little bit irritating is is just not being able to find level trim at all but other than that I mean other than that uh, I gotta say it's pretty realistic all right uh, let's go um, Grandcast traffic, Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo, uh, left downwind runway 10, Grandcast. Uh, correction, left downwind runway 12, Grandcast. And see, it's just constantly climbing and climbing and climbing. One thing that has looked really, really good is the trees. I'm just going to pull some power out and stop wrestling with this thing. Look how dynamic those colors are. Look at that. Alright, so runway 12, so we want a heading of 300 on downwind. That, in that little cove right there, there's a hotel. That was the first place I ever set foot in the Caribbean Sea, right there. And uh, there's Anguilla off the nose, Rendezvous Bay. Right off our nose. Uh, I'm going to bring the power to 2,000. Power to 2000. Princess Juliana over there. Power to 2000. I keep saying power to 2000. <laughs> saying it's not going to get it done. Uh, Alright, power to 2000. I'm going to put in that first notch of flaps. Keep the nose down. Say hello to Anguilla. And we'll make our left. Grandcast traffic, Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo turning a three mile left base runway 12 Grandcast. Uh, and you are not going to keep descending. I simply will not allow it. Let me see, is there anybody? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Pretty good shape. Gorgeous day for flying. Uh, 
Alright, we'll come back. Power to 1700. Second after flap. Skyhawk uh, is St. Martin uh, Grand Cast traffic. Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo. Three mile final runway 12 Grand Cast. Alright, power to 1500. There is no fuel pump. Mixture is rich. Flaps are set. Uh, definitely a bit of Now what I want to do is keep that spot where the numbers are. Numbers of this runway, I want to keep that right where it is in the windscreen. I don't want it moving up, I don't want it moving down, I want it to stay right where it is. Uh, and we're getting a little bit of a sink here, so we'll bring in some power. They're really getting a sink here. Alright. Uh, okay. Grand cast traffic, Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo, short final one way one two Grand Cast. Five hundred. Yeah, I mean it's being a little temperamental here. Alright. Alright. See now. This is my issue, I think. Is there's times when the airplane just seemingly will not descend. And, uh. I don't know. And we're going around. Grand Cast traffic, Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo going around, Grand Cast. Alright, positive rate of climb, first notch of flaps coming up. Let that nose come down just a little bit, just to add some power. Walk off that second notch of flaps. Not to add some power, to add some speed, excuse me. And we're good. The two things you want to do on a go around. First of all, a go around is a positive maneuver. Go around is not a screw up. Go around is not an acknowledgement of a mistake. It is not an acknowledgement of your inferiority as a pilot. And a go around simply means I don't like what I'm seeing. And we're gonna go give it another shot. It is a it is a good thing to do. I'm gonna get out past the end of the terrain here. Grandcast traffic, Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo, left crosswind, uh, closed left hand pattern for runway 12 Grandcast. Um, and that's what I've been seeing, and I don't know if that's me <laughs> or if it is the sim. Uh, but. I'm just seeing a lot of instances where the airplane just will not descend. I'm really not 
not being able to trim the airplane very easily. Really just trying to get it at 1500 feet and have it stop forcing around here. Grandcast, traffic, Skyhawk 172, Mike Romeo, left downwind, runway 12, Grandcast. Uh, I just, I didn't like the I just didn't like the float there, but but again, like I got to a place where the airplane just stopped descending. Grandcast traffic, Skyhawk 172, Mike Romeo, left base, runway 12, Grandcast. kind of make wide patterns here because of how because of the mountains on the left side of the runway so Grandcast traffic, Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo sh is turning a uh, two mile final runway 812 Grandcast. Alright. We'll go 1500. And this is, I mean, dropping now a thousand feet a minute. Five hundred. I mean, this is just not. Grandcast traffic, Skyhawk 172, Mike Romeo, short final 1-2, Grandcast. And again, just 
uh, dropping pretty strongly right now. And now it's going to pitch nose up. And now it's going to pitch nose down and start plummeting. Uh, this one's a little bit better. It's just, it seems like a constant wrestling match. And, and I mean, this, there's no way this airplane would be uh, climbing at 50 knots. It's just not going to do that. It's just not going to do that. I mean, you pulled up... You... That's the thing. I mean, you, you try to put the airplane into a nose-up position to flare and it just starts climbing and a Cessna 172 is not going to climb at 50 knots it's not going to do that with no power it's just not gonna I'm sorry this is driving me nuts I, I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out whether Grandcast traffic Skyhawk 172 Mike Romeo back taxiing runway 12 Grandcast uh, whether I'm just a crappy pilot uh, mixtures lean for taxi. Uh, we do keep the landing light on while on the runway because you want to be visible. Alright. Dash across the dashed line. Once we are clear of the runway, that means your entire airplane clear of that double yellow line. Now we will put on the brakes. Power to 1000 RPM. Alright, we'll turn the landing light off, taxi light on, mixture is lean for taxi, let's put up the flaps, Grandcast traffic, Skyhawk 172, Mike Romeo is clear the runway, Grandcast, and let's taxi, and uh, it's just, I don't know, I don't know. Because the the thing is, it's not that I I just don't believe that a Skyhawk is going to climb at 50 knots with no power. And that airplane, I was at 50 knots, put in the power, and that airplane was climbing. It wasn't you know settling. It wasn't ballooning it was climbing I mean if I had just pulled the nose straight back it would have gone up and it's just it doesn't have the energy to do that all right let's set the brakes throttle uh, make sure I don't cut off throttle is idle parking brake is set let's go lights off Avionics master off, magnetos off, master switches off. Confirm barking brake is set. I, I just I don't know. It's it's been I'll tell you. Um, the weather is definitely different in Sim Update 10. There's no question about it. Um, I would say the performance is great. I would say the visuals are stunning. Uh, DirectX 12, huge difference in Sim Update 10. Huge difference in usability, in performance. Um, but it's just, it is so hard to land these small GA aircraft. And I'm a, I'm a licensed <laughs> instrument rated FAA pilot. And like, I mean, I've, you know, I've, flown airplanes I know how to land airplanes and it is just so hard I can't imagine how difficult it must be for somebody who's uh, a simmer and that's not a, that's not I'm not talking down on anybody 
but unless you have a really innate grasp of pitch power performance, it's going to be hard uh, to get these airplanes on the ground. And uh, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see what everybody says. Originally, I thought it was way overdone, the the turbulence and the and the uh, the uh, weather in general and then I reconsidered and thought you know what it's actually not it's actually pretty pretty darn good and I mean it's definitely you know uh, dynamic and uh, that's a live uh, live VATSIM traffic over there in that TBM uh, he doesn't have a flight plan filed so who knows where he's going but anyway, um, I think there's there's a lot to look forward to in this sim update, um, and the project rolls on. So hope you guys are uh, are doing well.